In this video, we're gonna be building this matrix right here, which as you can see has a blank or as some might call it, a deleted row. The technique that we're gonna be using to do this is a little bit of an older technique that you could do in Microsoft Power BI using measures. However, we're gonna be using a newer Microsoft feature to do this, visual calculations. So you ready? Well, my name's Ned, this right here, this is my dog, Jai. And today we're gonna to be talking Microsoft Power BI. So first things first, what are visual calculations? Well, visual calculations allow you to use DAX within the context of a visual. This has a few different advantages. Mainly, the DAX formula that you're using only has to deal with the data that's actually in the visual. But secondarily, it makes DAX a lot easier to write. And this is because when you're normally writing DAX measures, it can get a little bit complicated because all the visuals and the data models and the filters, they all interact. With visual calculations, the only interaction that you need to worry about is from the data that's in the visual. So all that said, we're not actually gonna be using that. We're just gonna be using visual calculations because it allows us to create this blank column right here without having to create just kind of a random UI measure that gunks up our model. So let me show you how to build out this table. And we're gonna do that by duplicating this page, right? And then just simply deleting this table. And then we are gonna go ahead and we're going to recreate it together. Okay, so the table has been deleted. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna click new visual and then we're gonna click table right here. We're then gonna bring in those data columns that we want. So in this case, it was customer name, we had total price and then total units purchased. Now, as you can see, all of these are in a table, but we don't have that empty or blank column that exists. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna click this new visual calculation button, and then I'm going to title this as blank. Now, you can title this right here as empty column, right? And this tutorial will work. However, one of the things that I had uh, done, if you noticed where there was no text, is I had used what's called a zero space character. Now, a zero space character is a character that Power BI will recognize, but it won't render in text visually, like you won't be able to see it. Now, the way I had done that is I had Googled what a zero space character was, and then I had pasted it over here into Notepad++, and then I had turned on its visibility by going right here, show symbol, show all characters. If I uncheck this, as you can see, here it is, it doesn't take up any space. But if I go back over here and I go back all the way over to view and I go to show symbol and then show it back on, I can then see it and I can see it so I can now highlight it, copy it, and then paste it right here in the title and hit save. And just like that, we now have a visual calculation that if we get back to the report, we should be able to see right here with no title. So it's sitting right here after units purchased, as you can see, I can expand it, right? So if I go over here and expand it, but it doesn't look like a blank column. So let's go ahead and let's start to format this. So I'm gonna go right here, right click it, then go into format to get into the formatting pane. It is now time for us to start applying settings. So first things first, I'm going to go over here to the grid. I'm gonna expand this and I'm going to turn off horizontal grid lines. I'm then gonna go down here into the border. I'm then going to select the column header, turn off the bottom. I'm then gonna go over here to the total section, turn off the top. I'm then going to search for column headers by collapsing this, going right here. And then I'm going to set the text color to white, the background color to a dark blue. So here you go. You can start to see this going, coming out, right? Looking nice. And then I'm going to go over here to specific column, apply series settings to here. And then I'm going to say apply background color to white. And as you can see, this just applied here, it didn't apply to the header. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this on now. If you had typed in text right here and you set your text color to white, 
right? So like if you hadn't done this zero space character and just titled this empty column, this would be a way you could wipe it out. But just like that, there you go. There you have it. That's a blank column in a Power BI table. And let me just quickly show you how to switch that over to a matrix. It's pretty simple. You can just do all of those exact same settings. And I realized I didn't have the table selected when I clicked that. So you can select matrix here, but then just a warning for the column that brings over in the rows, you'll need to go back over here to the grid, go back into border, then on the rows header, uncheck the left right here. So it, it doesn't have that blue border that it just created. Now, if you enjoyed this video, check out the video linked down below in the video description where I show you how to use visual calculations to dynamically highlight or select different pieces in a bar graph. It's a really cool visual, so you should check it out. And with that, thanks for watching.